Right, so if you hadn't worked that out from that video, this is a K20 engine. Um, we're going to miss out the point that it's a Z4, not an A2, just because they're half the price. They're fine. They're fine anyway. It'll do. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do now is, because this is a drive-by-wire throttle body, we need to remove that, because we're going to make it into a cable throttle body. We're not going to make that into a cable throttle body. We're going to swap it for one. We're going to weigh we up to see. That. We could actually, technically, yeah. Yeah, oh, no. yeah you can. Yeah, you just can. take the motor take off. The motor off eh? But what we're going to do is we're going to see how far out to the EP3 throttle body that is. We can use, use the gasket to check it. Yeah. And then, um, because we think it's miles off, it does actually look quite a lot different. It'll be yeah. this bolt, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, because the one's a lot longer. It's that square looking. Where is so, it? behind you, on the floor. Oh. Yeah. You... Where's the original throttle body? Don't have one. Where did the one go off then? That's the one I got given. I don't have the one. I'd been mine. Oh, did like you? A, like a lunatic, yeah. I took mine out because I thought it was a sensible idea at the time. Yeah. I'm regretting that right now. Yeah, no, I took mine out, unfortunately. Unless it's in that bottom box, I'll have a look. Pretty sure I took it out. But yeah, it's totally different. Different shape. So, we believe we can get an RBC adapter plate to go on there, which will then allow us to fit an EP3 throttle body or cable, 70 mil one, whatever we want to really. Um, just depends what I can find. It's cheap. First injury. You injured yourself already. Damn. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. So yeah, Honda's crap to work on. Um, Got clutching it. Yeah, clutch it's fine. I surprised it had actually. We'll take it off and just compare it to yeah. the other one. Yeah, we have the other one, don't we? So yes, yeah, so it should say A2 on it. Actually, on your side, I believe, but not this side. It didn't really, uh, Z4 on it. Sorry. It didn't really matter. This, uh, we, I know it is. I seen the car it came out. This will be the engine for the Jazz. So, because this has currently the FN2 loom on it, and we're going to swap it to an EP3 loom, we're going to mark up everything that is on this so we know where we are and we know what it was. And that's the easiest thing. Well, it's probably the easiest way to do it actually. I think it'll be alright. Should be okay. So, these are the plans for the Jazz. This is the engine. Behind, we have a swiveling thermostat. Swiveling things are great, and we have some random CV joints. Uh, <laughs> that's a new inner that I need for an EP3 shaft. And I've got two B series outers there, and the split shaft there, the half shaft there. The tow rope, um, oh, we will need that, yeah. And that's an FN2 original cast downpipe there, uh, manifold. Uh, I do have an EP3 one somewhere, but I think that's the one that we're going to fit. And behind there is also a six speed shifter from. A CRZ, and, and we've also got the induction kit that used to be fit to AP3 that we're going to use as well. And last but not least, I've painted the rocker cover green, so that's cool. So this is now officially started. Pretty much. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Label up this loom, see where we're at, and then wait for parts to arrive, I guess. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. That's the FN2 throttle body. That's the EP3 one, isn't it? So that to me looks like it fits fine. Same bolt spacing. I mean, that's on the, is that on the right way around that throttle body? It is, isn't it? It's the way it come off that one. Come off that one. So, how's it looking like inside? Can we open that up? It's lined up, isn't it? It's slightly off, slightly off on the top. Right. It's just got a little bit of. I don't know if you can see that there, can you? Uh, you can't, is the bottom out as well then? Tiny bit. It's, well, it's open, yeah, yeah. So, the bottom and the top are slightly open. Uh, the top's slightly out of line. But then, if that's out of line, when we put the EP3 one, it would be the way around, wouldn't it? The bottom would be out of line then. 
because it would move it. It must be a fraction. That must be a fraction lower than what that is. Yeah. So it does fit though. Oh, oh you yeah. could make it work, definitely. Watch out for them flippers. <laughs> so we could make it work uh, without any adapter, possibly, because all we could do is we could just take a chunk out the bottom of the manifold with a Dremel. That would work, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. As long as it's just mainly for flow and then make sure there's no air leak. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad, but... Because that, that there is off this tap, the active charcoal there. Yeah. Which... Would be on the throttle body, on mine, yeah. the EP3. Or we'll just cut it off on caper anyway. Switch it off, switch it off, don't need it. So yeah, on the motor go. So yeah, we nearly got the loom off uh, and nearly taped everything up. But that was interesting to see how close that actually is. I thought that was going to be miles off or not fit from what I'd read on the net, but it turns out it's not that bad. It's easy modifiable actually. Mm. I don't know how many to hear what's this. That's the FN2 one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the starter plug. Right, so what did we have there then? What did I have yeah, That was the other EP3. Alright, so I've picked it totally the wrong loom. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah, so that's the starter. That's, yeah, that's the one we need to swap. That's the one because it's a. That's easier. Yeah. Right, yeah, so so far we've worked out that we need to swap the FN2 starter motor plug. Just the solenoid one, there. Yeah, there. And we're missing a plug for. Um can't find it now. I just had it in the end there. The oil, yeah. the oil pressure for the EP3 loom is missing a plug there, so we need to change the sensor anyway. We think that's all we need to change. I'm pretty sure it is the oil pressure. I need to change for an EP3 one. So we're just gonna have to hope that it's got the same plug as the FN2 one, or we'll make it work anyway. Single wire, so we'll sort it. Yeah, so we sort that. Um it's taken a long time to work out what we're doing with these because we both thought that the EP3 ECU has three plugs, which it does. I think it does. I'm sure it does. It well, does, but the other one's in the car. Yeah, the other one's in the car. So we think this one's got all the wires in that we need to wire it into the, into the car itself. And there'll be another plug to go along with these two to go to the ECU. So that's going to be okay. We're all right with that. Um, and the rest of it's pretty much straightforward. It's not too bad, really. Yep. We can manage the rest of it in e bother. Um, if we do use an EP3 throttle body, which I'm assuming we're probably going to get, I'm probably get one tonight, um, and we can make it fit on there. If we do just have to shave a little bit off this, then that's a piece of piss because if it bolts up, it looks all right. Fair enough, that'll, that'll do. Uh, the only thing I've got is will the butterfly clear the manifold? Should do actually. Machine it out. Stick out quite a way. Yeah. So that well, that one right. opens without touching. Ah, right, true. No, they're sorry, they're uh, not the butterfly, the, uh, the cable. Uh, Oh right, oh, yeah, yeah. I think okay. Maybe that might not clear the manifold, but I'm guessing it probably will because I don't think it's that big. I think they're quite small, but yay big. They're quite tiny, aren't they? From what I remember, the mechanism. Of course, I threw one away, and uh, there is our amazing FN2 inlet, which we're going to use, I think, because it's slightly more compact, possibly than the other one. I don't know. Maybe maybe very similar, but we'll probably just use it. Where's that go? Why has it got two of them? Where's that going? Oh, that's the. Uh, PCV. PCV. So that's the uh, brake booster there. Uh, if we need to be, we can just spin that round, I guess. But it should be alright going that way. We'll try and just use all these standard brackets, hopefully. Try and keep all of that looking like it does. That's different as well, I think, isn't it? The waterway on there. I don't remember that being like that. Maybe it is, I can't remember. But the rest of it's very much similar, so it's not too bad. Uh, we've got another clutch and flywheel. I've got the ones that came off my EP3, so we'll just take those off, check them, we'll probably just use mine because we know mine are all right. And that's that. So uh, yeah, so this is... And gearbox as well there. Yeah, and gearbox in the corner there. That's the one off my Civic originally, so that's cool. We know that's an all right gearbox. So we've got all the loom, all labelled up, and everything that we've taken off. Just throw it on pen on masking tape. And the one thing that we found that was different, clockwise, is where we at. Um, somewhere near here. It's one of these, isn't it? One pin plug. No, that's not good. Oh, yeah, sorry, my bad. The one pin plug that goes to the oil pressure sensor. That's the only thing that we can find that's different. 
And there, that one there. It's the only plug that can find that is different to the EP3 loom. Now conveniently, the EP3 loom I have, which is this one, this one here, and um, that wire is actually snapped off anyway. There it is there. That's the wire that's broke, with no plug on it. So unless we can find out any reason why, we're just going to take the plug off this loom and plug it, wire it up to this so it can plug straight back onto the old pressure sensor which is right there. Because the standard K20A2 one has like a one pin sort of plug on it. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, it looks like without showing you. But so it's either that or change the sensor, which is just as easy, but because we haven't got a plug on there anyway. Yeah, so that's the introduction to the K-Swap and uh, the engine that we've picked to do, which is just K20Z4, it's an FN2 type R engine. Everything's slightly different than a K20A2, which is more common, but also about double the price, if not more than double the price. So we'll use this engine and just put EP3 parts, like the loom, the ECU and the throttle body. Um, We'll keep the FN2 inlet manifolds just because it's easier and also because there's a slight difference on the cylinder head where the upper coolant sort of, what do you call it? It's not a reservoir, upper coolant sort of connection uh, is actually part of the inlet manifold on the FN2 engine. It's a separate piece on the EP3 and the head is actually different. Uh, it wouldn't bolt up and line up anyway. So we'll keep the, e, the FN2 inlet sorry, on this engine and then just use a EP3 throttle body and an RBC spacer plate and that should cover that. Uh, we've checked my jazz today, it appears to have a cable throttle pedal, so that makes life a lot easier. So we'll just run the cable straight to the pedal. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So K20Z4 into a Honda Jazz GD1. That's what we're going to be doing and that'll be coming up over the next uh, couple of months. Just obviously waiting for the, uh, waiting for the main part which is the mounts Hasport mounts for the conversion and once they've arrived I can start taking the engine out of the Jazz and get this engine proper ready to go in. Um, probably change the clutch in the flight, well change the clutch to the one that came on my EP3 because it's spot on and then we can also mount the gearbox up to the engine and then leave it sat in the corner with its uh, bright green rocker cover on which I'm about to do another coat on now just to make it look smart. I also noticed the rocker covers are different actually as well and um, I'll show you that quickly. Um, on this one which is the Z4 engine, you've got bolts there where this bracket which has your um, tank vent and one of your coolant, no a tank vent and your brake booster pipe sorry, this bracket actually bolts onto your rocker cover uh, whereas on an EP3 it's actually sat down here, I think it bolts on the side of the head action in EP3 um, so yeah, so that's ever so slightly different, it's not going to matter at all but just in case anybody wondered, oh yeah it also says Honda Motor Co on it, where's the K20 A2 one just says Honda. So yeah, that's a minor difference, but nothing really worth it. So cool, there we go. Introduction. <laughs> 